In problem number 27, we have the average monthly high temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit for Binghamton, New York are given below. And here we have January all the way through December, and then these are the average uh, uh, monthly high temperatures, which are quite low, but that's upstate New York, so what do you expect? All right, so for these temperatures, we want to find to the nearest tenth the mean, the population standard deviation, and the number of months that fall within one standard deviation of the mean. So there are three things we're looking for. We're looking for the mean itself. We're looking for the standard deviation. And then we're looking for the number of months that fall within one standard deviation of the mean. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is find the mean. Right? And the mean is denoted by this x with a bar. It's also sometimes denoted by uh, the little symbol mu, which is the Greek letter for m. Uh, but either way, x with a bar over it, or mu. And it's basically defined to be 1 over n times the sum, that's the summation sign, of all the data points, right? where i runs from 1 to n. Okay, now, now this, this bit over here that I just wrote down might look really, really scary, but what that's actually saying is we're just adding up all the numbers. That's what this part here represents. This is saying add up all the numbers, all the data points, x sub i, each x sub i is a data point, and then divide by however many there are. That's what this 1 over n part means. So here I have this really nice freeware program. It's called OpenOffice, and you might be able to see over here, uh, openoffice.org. Go there, download the program. It's pretty nifty. It does all the same stuff Microsoft Word does, Microsoft Excel and all, um, but it does it for free. So to find the, the mean, what we're going to do is add up all these numbers. So I press the equal sign, right? And then I type in SUM for sum. I put a parentheses. And then what I'm going to do is select from 28 all the way down to 33, all 12 data points. And then I will close my parentheses. So let's zoom in here and see what I did. All right, I just typed in to the cell down underneath the data points equals. I typed the word sum parentheses B2 through B13. Uh, and then I close the parentheses. And B2 to B13 represents, represents this cell, which is B2. And then all the way down here is B13. So I press Enter, and bam, there it is, 650. But 650 represents the sum of all of these, right? We want the mean, so we have to divide 650 by 12. So what I do here is I press Enter. I click on 650. And then I click Divide by 12, right? So I pressed enter, I clicked on 650, which happens to be cell B14, and then I divide it by 12, and I press enter, and it's 54.17. Now the problem said round to the nearest tenths. We can have this do it for us, basically. It's going to be 54.2, but watch this. So I click format, then I click on cells, and right here it says decimal places, zero, Let's just put it for one decimal place, right? Decimal places, I've set it to one. And then I click OK. And now everything here is rounded to the tenths, right? So this, this right here, I will bold it. That is our mean, 54.2. Now what we want to do is compute the standard deviation. So we found the mean. The mean is equal to, let's go back there again, 54.2. 54. .2. 54 point two and that's degrees right that's the mean that's part one now the formula for standard deviation is a little bit more complicated than the formula for the mean but follow me on this one it's not quite so bad okay so the formula for standard deviation it's this little sigma right that's the letter sigma s for standard deviation it is equal to uh, one over n so we're taking an average right and we're taking the average again from i equals 1 to n. So we're adding up all the numbers. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to take the mean, right? We're going to take that mean, which is 54.2, right? And we're going to subtract from it each individual point. That's x sub i. That's each individual point. And then we're going to square that. Okay, but we're not done yet because... What we're going to do after that 
is we're going to take the square root of it, right? The fun just doesn't ever stop. So let me clear some space here. All right, so we are going to take the square root of this expression, and let's do that. So there we go. So that is a standard deviation. And what this is basically saying is it wants 1 over 12, right, because there are 12 data points. And then it's going to be 54.2 minus the first data point, which is, what is it, 28, right? 28. And then we're going to add that to 54.2 minus the next data point, which is 31. Okay, and each one of these is going to be squared. And we're going to continue that until, you know, the very end to the last data point. Okay, so that's, that's what we're doing in this giant expression. Let me go into this program again and show you what exactly that means. So I click right here, and I type in again equals, right? And I type in parentheses, and now that I know the mean is 54.2, I can type in 54.2 minus, and then whatever that data point is. In that case, the data point is 28. So I close parentheses, and then I want to square it, so raise it to the second power. So see what I've done here? I've taken the mean, 54.2, minus each individual data point, that 28 represents a data point, and then I've just squared it. So I press enter, and that's the first data point, right? And now I just copy paste this. So I go to, I click the cell, I go to edit, copy, I select the rest of the cells down to 33, I click edit, paste, right there, edit, paste, and bam, there we are, right? But remember, our formula says, okay, what I want to do is add up all those numbers and then take the average of them. So now to take the average of these, I do the same thing I did before. I type in equals S U M for sum. I press the open parentheses. I select all those points that I just created. I close parentheses and there's the sum, right? But I'm not done because what I want to do is I want to divide this by 12. I want to divide this by 12 and then take the square root. So now I click on equals. I click 37, 37.7. I divide it by 12. I press enter. But I want the square root of 31.5. So now I go equals and then there's a command S Q R T for square root. And then I just select this, close the parentheses. And bam, there we go, 17.6. That is the answer we're looking for. That's the standard deviation. And I'll go back here so I can write that down. So I know that the mean is, let me, let me get this back here. So I know the mean is 54.2. And I know the standard deviation now is equal to, what did we say it was? 17.6. 17.6. Now what I want to do is, this is the this is, uh, last part of the problem here. Here's the first two parts. Now what I want to do is find out the number of months that fall within one standard deviation of the mean. In other words, I want to take 54.2, add to it 17.6, and I want to take 54. 0.2, subtract from it 17.6, because that's within one standard deviation, plus minus 17.6. And we can again do that right in the program. We can go here and type in equals 54.2 minus 17.6. I'm just showing you guys the functionality of this little program. So that's the low end, 36.6. And then I can do the same thing, 54.2 minus 17.6. Oh, I'm sorry, it should be plus, not minus. We are adding here, plus 17.6. You have to press the equal sign. There we go. So basically, we're looking for a range, anything above 36 degrees, anything below 71 degrees. So we're looking for x that is greater than or equal to 36 degrees and less than or equal to, what was it, 71 degrees. 
71 degrees. And you will find that there are exactly six months that fit that profile that are uh, between 36 and 71 degrees. And we can go here and we can find, oop, that one works. That one works. That one is less than 71. It's greater, 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 greater. That one works. That one works. And that one works. And so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So the number of months that fall in this range is six. Okay, folks, hope this one was helpful.